Custom content can be a little bit difficult to navigate. Today, I'm going over my favorites right now. I think it's really important to stress to you guys, I am Maxis Match only. The Sims community love to call me Alpha CC phobic. <laughs> I just personally can't deal with Alpha CC. This is why I only use very, very Max's match looking stuff so it looks like it belongs in the game. I'm also really, really hot on only downloading sets. I do not have time to download individual items. I'm not doing it. I cannot be bothered. So the custom content I'm showing you today, a mixture of both built mode custom content and created sim mode custom content will only be stuff from like packs because I'm not, I'm not downloading individual items it's not happening. So these are only creators I follow who do nice big packs full of stuff. Okay, first up guys, we have Miko CC eyelashes part one, two, and three. So guys, we got this pair of eyelashes here. We got this second one here, and we got a third one here. I personally like the third one. I also quite like the first one, not keen on the second one. Guys, your Sims need eyelashes. <laughs> need I explain more? These are the best eyelashes. And the best thing is, okay, because a lot of people get confused by this. Eyelashes are always in accessories and that's because custom content creators, in order to give your sims 3D looking eyelashes, they basically code it into the game. It's like sunglasses and that's how they do it and that's why these ones you'll find in the glasses menu. Although you're probably thinking, Satch, what if I want my sim to have eyelashes and sunglasses? Well, this creator has also duplicated the exact same eyelashes into the piercings menu of creators a sim mode. So if I want eyelashes but I also want glasses, I can apply the piercings eyelashes, if you know what I mean, and then I can just place normal glasses on top and you can have both at once. Again, if you want your sim to have piercings, you can give them a piercing and then go into glasses and actually choose the eyelashes from the glasses menu. That way you can have the best of both. Otherwise you have to pick and choose between if you basically, you don't want your sims to have piercings or you don't want your sims to have glasses like you have to choose one of them to sacrifice in order to give your sims eyelashes but I promise you it's worth it and these are the best ones on the gallery right now. Also I failed to mention but I just remembered if you go into skin details in the like face thing you actually have the eyelashes here too so if you don't want to sacrifice both glasses and piercings, you can sacrifice moles in order to give your sims eyelashes. The next creator I really like for Cass is I'm V Kai. If you go onto the downloads page, again, I told you there's a lot of individual downloads. I don't mess around with these. I head straight to packs. There's not loads, but there's a few. I really like all of these. Currently the gasoline one is Patreon only, but that should change after a while. I've just downloaded the it girl collection and karaoke collection into my game to show you. This is a hair from the karaoke collection. I think it looks nice and this is another one. This is one of the it girl collection ones. I think it all looks great. This skirt and t-shirt combo come with the arcade one. Obviously like all custom content creators always give loads of great swatches for everything so you can guarantee you can make it in any way that you want to. This is a skirt by the same creator. This is an upper body one, this is another upper body one, and we've got this one here, and we've got this one here, and you guys know, I forgot to say at the start, I'm very picky about Simlish only, or if not Simlish, things that look very abstract and not like a real language, and this is very abstract, like the text on it, so that's always good. And you can see, for example, this one clearly looks like Simlish here, this one is obviously in Simlish, so that's something that I look out for, green flag. I like to keep my cast quite quite simple with CC. So I think if you're looking for a creator who does keep it quite simple, then I think you'll like this creator stuff, I'm Vikai. And they do have a ton of hair. I told you guys I don't mess around with individual downloads, but they do have a lot of nice hairstyles. And something that I hear a lot of simmers say is they only use Alpha CC because they feel like they can only make nice black looking sims with Alpha CC. You can find really, really nice Maxis Matte Afro textured hair with this creator. They do a lot of nice Afro textured hair. Stop. I swear to God, you don't need Alpha CC. Yes, I am trying to convert you to Max's match. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, I am, because I think it's better. So I think that would be a nice thing to highlight to you. On that note, I also want to give a mention to Lee Lee Sims 1. He does a load of really, really, I'm assuming it's a he, does a load of amazing, really great hairs in a variety of textures. The reason why I didn't mention his stuff originally when I was making this video is because it's all individual downloads. I told you I don't mess around with individual downloads. I only do sets, but he is very good at Max's match stuff in general too. So the next crater is A Harris 00 Britney. I have honestly used his stuff so much. I swear to God, I've mentioned him like five times already. Again, go to downloads. That is individual things. I don't mess around with these. I can't deal with it. But go over to CC packs, okay? And there's a ton of different CC packs with both stuff for male and female sims. There is so much there. And do you guys want to know the best thing is? All of this stuff from 2018 to 22 is in one huge Google Drive file, meaning you can download all of this, guys. You can download all of it. This is like mega, mega easy, guys. You're literally downloading six years worth of custom content from this creator in like, like, do you know what I mean? Like two seconds. Now I am going to be honest. If you put all of this in your game, if you're running on a toaster laptop, it is, do you know what I mean? Like you will be able to fry an egg on the, on the PC. <laughs> so I wouldn't, personally would not put all of this in your game. But if you want to easily download like a ton of it, guys, it's all on there in just one easy download link. For this video, I've downloaded the AXA Angel set to show you. I believe that this is the only one I downloaded. I did forget. I got a new PC, so I lost all my CC. So I have to do it all again. But I think the stuff in this set, it's really nice looking, guys. The crate does a wide for. I think this one comes with one of those like bougie hats. There we go. <laughs> comes with one of those. I believe this specific one also came with a couple of different hairstyles as well, which is really, really cool. And if you want to get oddly specific, so if you download CC hair and it's got the like bands in at the side and you think, I want to change the color of the bands. If you head into hats, normally you'll see the exact same hair swatch and you click on it. And as you can see, if I do this, you can change the color of the bands. A lot of CC creators do this, which is cool if you want like loads of extra detail. Oh look, it comes with some cute little earmuffs as well. <laughs> this is definitely like, like one of my favorite creators for The Sims 4, just because of like the wide variety of stuff. This is a bit like sultry for me. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but in general, guys, like these two creators with their like mass download thing, it's perfect for me. So for your male Sims, I have for you, this is called Taylor Beard by Kevin and the Sims. Making male Sims is hard. We all know it's very, very hard, too hard. Usually I like it hard, but not in this instance. So guys, I love this little beard. This is the only, th like, this is the only, like, thing. <laughs> this is the only thing, like, do you know what I mean? Just, like, one beard, but I really like it. I feel like a lot of the beards in The Sims 4, like, they're just not good enough. Like, all the stubble, moustache, whatever. I just think this is a good one, okay? Now, you're probably thinking, Sat, what about men's clothing? What about men's hairs? Blah, blah, blah. No custom content creator, in my personal opinion, has ever made men's cast that I actually really like. There's no great cast for male sims just like in the sims for vanilla no mods. There's no great men's stuff in terms of alpha cc, max is match cc. Actually you guys think I'm alpha cc phobic. The men's stuff is actually usually all right. I've actually downloaded some men's stuff before like alpha stuff but there's literally nothing for your male sims guys. There is nothing. So unfortunately like this is a guys I literally search for like hours and hours trying to find like great male Maxis match cast. I could not find anything. There wasn't even really any good alpha stuff. Men are a lost cause in The Sims. The Sims 4 is male phobic. I've decided it is toxic masculinity phobic. There is no nice men's stuff, whether that be in the base game or in terms of custom content. All of the custom men's stuff I found is very much kind of like, I've said this before, like femboy style or like soft boy core or like grinder core. It's just not my thing. I don't want my Sims to look like grinder core. Like I want toxic masculine looking Sims, like fashionably toxic masculine. And it just doesn't exist. There's no CC. EA don't know how to make men's clothing. Custom content creators can't deal with it. <laughs> Nobody can deal with it. There's no nice stuff for male Sims. Male Sims are a lost cause, period. That was so, oh my God, that was so American of me, period. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was so American. So next up guys, we are looking at built mode custom content. Again, I've mentioned this crater honestly like 20 times. Max 20 is my favorite. I am a max 20 simp, it's true. And the reason why is that his stuff is like severely Max's match to the point where like you wouldn't know any different. He does a lot of individual items, but I really, really love his sets. For example, this garden at home pack. Like it's so Max's match. It's so much better than the greenhouse haven kit guys. And just as a tip guys, if somebody has a Patreon and you don't know like what stuff is early access, because a lot of content creators make it early access, in order to see what you can get without actually subscribing, on their main Patreon page, click on tier and click on public. So that's all of the free stuff. For the purposes of this video, I downloaded the poolside lounge pack. So this one comes with some really nice stone tiles. We even literally got some trees. Guys, custom content creators never do vegetation, but he actually does vegetation. I love it. We got this nice little deck chair. We've got a, what are these called? No, this is the decking chair. Or is it a lounge? What, what's the do? I'm like, guys, what do you call it? Oh, sun lounger. <laughs> it's a sun lounger. I'm sorry. It comes with like a decorative, one of those like woke cameras, which I quite like. And we've got a cooler box here. And this one is functional, by the way, if you own outdoor retreat. We also got this a little light here. We've got a potted plant here. As I told you guys before, like as you can see, this is like severely Max's match. We've even got a gnome, guys. Every single Sims 4 pack comes with a bloody gnome and this is literally a gnome. We've got a, I always forget if these are called canopies or canapes or something else, a pavlova, I don't know. We got like a huge beach storage cart thing that's for like rubber, you know, there's, I, again, what the f are they called? <laughs> these rubber things. Got a cute little parasol. Now, he also did something which I really, really love. It's not part of this set, it's separate. But he did an old school looking landline phone. This is just decor, unfortunately, because you know, we don't have landlines in The Sims 4, but I really love it. It's so like retro. And he also did this computer here, guys, which I love. Look at this computer. Even the post-it notes are like written in Simlish. Now guys, look at that PC. Like, look how cool that looks. Like it's, like it's literally insane like it looks real, like it looks one of those like real old PCs. Guys, this is what we used to play The Sims 1 on back in the day. So before I start creaming myself, we will move on to the next one I like, which is 6MCC. And this is very, very Maxis match looking stuff. And again, these, like, these are all packs. I'm not messing around, okay? I'm not dealing with individual downloads. There's a couple, but most of it, okay, is these packs, stylish wood packs. Wednesday goth bedroom, boho baby, furniture showroom. The furniture showroom, by the way, guys, comes with a vibrating heart bed and a heart-shaped hot tub, like a throwback to old Sims. It came with a life in plastic one, which is like the Barbie theme one, which I really, really love. I covered in a video once. I also covered recently, you may have watched it, the Tiny Playroom's kitchen set. This creator does a lot of really nice stuff. So the pack that I downloaded, Laundry Room by 6MCC, comes with this flooring. And by the way, if you want to search for a content create a specific stuff, type it in the search bar you can see on the left here and nine times out of 10, it will come up. So this one comes with, guys, I'm losing my words today. What are these called? <laughs> like a little hanger thing like that you put in your front hallway. Now this one is great, okay. It comes with some like a different kind of like modular things. So we got a counter. Now these are actually fake counters, which I love so your Sims won't cook on them because it's designed for laundry. We got this cubby hole here and it comes with a brand new washer and dryer. Even if you don't own laundry day, it also comes with a decorative one that you can use. And you can just like slot these in here, which I think looks like really amazing. It's like the laundry day pack, but it looks a bit more normal, if you know what I mean. We got some little towels that you can place down. This scarf and bag, you can slot it into this here. So that's really cool. And because it's separate, you can change the color swatch of it separately, which I really like. We've also got the same thing, but down like this. It comes with a, obviously it's a fake ironing board, but we got an ironing board. This is a doggy bath, which I think you guys would really like. It functions like a normal bath. So like your, your normal Sims will like sit in there. <laughs> But if you make sure your normal Sims don't use it, you can actually make your dogs have a bath in there. It's pretty cool. Oh no, I've just realized this thing right here is a pet bed. I've just realized. Guys, why don't we have any normal looking 
making pet beds in The Sims 4 like this. Jesus Christ, cats and dogs were such a flop. This pet bed is so much nicer. We even got a pet food bowl. And we've just got like some random decorative items that you can put all over here, which I think is really, really great. And of course we got, I don't know, laundry clips. It's so random. We got a broom. If you want to stack a broom on here for any reason. And a really lovely decorative laundry basket. So the next one is a collaboration of two creators, which is called House of Harleks. The creators are called Hey Harry and Felix Andre, if I'm correct, say that off the top of my head. But they collabed and did like a load of stuff. They don't really do the collab stuff anymore, but all of this stuff in their like collab section, guys, is really, really good. There's not much, but there's enough for like most rooms. I've just downloaded the basic bathroom one for this video, which is an extension to their main basic living set. So it comes with these two counters, either a left one or a right one or both. And you can can actually put a sink on either of these which I think is really really cool. We've got like two different mirrors which are the same but different like landscapes. We've got this bathroom cabinet here. We've got this little shelving unit here. A mirror that comes on a stand. We've got one of these like frame showers here which I think looks really nice. And a lot of their stuff is modular so like if you want to have this individual shower on the wall what you can do is you can get this shower wall which is like modular and you can basically like fit it on the side like this so it's like one of those you know those modern like you see them a lot in modern homes do you know what I mean where they have the like showers do you know what I mean guys like these showers which are kind of like closed off which I just think looks so amazing and you can obviously have it in single or double it also comes with a double bath shower combo this one looks a bit weird if you put the glass there it still looks a bit weird my personal recommendation is if you're using this one is put like a wall here like this and I think it looks really really nice or you could just have the bathtub itself and there's so many other misc decorations like we've got some toilet roll we got some lotions that looks a bit like Nivea cream we got a trash can again oh my god that was so American of me trash can <laughs> a little towel so like you've got all the stuff guys do you know what I mean it, it comes with everything you need but in my personal opinion yeah the best one is the basic one the bathroom one is an extension to it but the basic set comes with stuff for basically like all rooms of the house and it's so Ikea like it's got real Ikea vibe and I love it this is one of my favorites of all time and it was a collab project between Harry or Hey Harry however she goes by now and she also does a lot of CC that you can download and Felix Andre Sims I think I'm saying that right again he makes loads of sets that you can just download there's something quite special about the sets that they worked on together out of House of Harleks I hope you found this video useful thank you very much for watching I will see you in the next one.